maybe some of you have seen this on the internet as advertised. It's a, it's a shape maintainer for your baseball cap when you wash it in the washing machine. It came like this and you open it by, so it sort of should, yes, you go from underneath and it's easier to get it open then. If you open it from the bottom, you can see here how it slides up like this. It seems like there's two layers that comes here. Well, I managed to open it and uh, you will do the same if you open it from the bottom. So you just slide out the first one and then you do the second one and the third one. And since this one is made out of polypropylene, which is a uh, quite flexible plastic, it, it doesn't, uh, and it's strong, it doesn't hurt to bend it a little bit. Now it says here that it's made out of plastic. It can be used in the dishwasher or washing machine and it fits all different types of caps. So I'm just going to load in my cap here. See, give you an example. You can see here how dirty it is. Yeah. Well, more so on this side. You can see it's like, uh, it's actually almost brown. I've been using this for two years. I don't know if this makes justice to it, but I'm going to show you what it looks like afterwards. I'm going to take two pictures, one before and after, and compare them to see if this dishwasher or washing machine cap holder unit uh, works. It says in the instruction manual also that you can use this one, that you can use this one for uh, just transporting your uh, caps uh, so they keep a shape when you have them in your luggage. But um, let's try it out for real. And uh, it says also that you only need two. You don't need all or three of them. And you don't need that one. We just need the bottom one. Fast on the buckles to prevent the cap from falling off during the cleaning process. Please select the gentle circulation mode when using the washing machine. And there's actually here an instruction on how you take it apart. So it's the lock step and the open step. Buckle A, B, buckle C, A, B, C. So meaning that when you lock it, you start with the A, which are up there in the front. You put those together and then you fasten the B's and the last one, the C's. That's when you lock it. And when you open it, after you wash it, you do it the other way around. Then you start with the back and then the middle and you finish with the front. See here that it actually is quite good there. We do like they said, the lock for face first here, which goes in there and on the second one. So it sort of folds together as you can see here. And now we squeeze it down. It is correctly fitted according to their own instruction manual. It's not a super fit, but it keeps the shape somehow. And uh, maybe this is all we need. There's a bit of a slack here in the fabric. A little bit here as well. But we all know that the most important part is this section here needs to be keep it shape and the sun visor. Well, anyway, it goes into the washing machine now, just like this. And it's not going to be centrifuged at a very high rate. It says gentle, you know, so we are going to set the program. I'll put in one cap like that. And I'm just going to pour it in here. Now to make it a little bit softer here for the machine, I'm going to throw in a towel as well. So this one goes in. That's the 40. We do not want to have a centrifugation. So we remove that. Put in 400 actually, that's gentle. And then we start. Well, it's only been about 12 minutes and I can tell already now that this has failed. So we're gonna open it up and see what happened. Whoops, it's hot in here, it's 40 degrees and it has released the cap. So the cap is no longer inside the container and it's being smacked around like it shouldn't have been. So it's open apparently from the front and it sneaked its way out. So we're gonna 
do it. Another attempt back into place. And then we're going to tighten it here in the back. Now it's all secured again, but to avoid that it opens again, we're going to use these bag clips here. Shouldn't need to do this. We do the same thing on the other side. So it's all been fixed now and it's going to go back into the machine. Let's see if this one can hold together better. Now we can continue the program. So it's evident that the machine is now flushing out the water. You can hear the water pump in the background. And I'm not going to let the certification cycle start. Instead, I'm going to just shut off the machine. And you can see some of the clamps have opened and fallen off. It seems, it seems to me that it actually held its uh, positions quite good. And uh, of course, you can find a better solution for this. But now this plastic... Uh, bread bag clamps work relatively fine. I'm just gonna hang this now in this way and um, I'm gonna let it dry while it's sitting while it's sitting inside the holder. So it's the next morning now and uh, I'm bringing it down. It's all dry. But it's actually all good. It's a little bit damp still. But the label is completely clean. Well, there you have it all. I rate this thing a 4 out of 5. Because the wash came out very nice. I don't see any of the dirt or the brown stuff here. and it kept this shape very nice when it dried. Now it fell apart, the holder, after five minutes in the machine, so you need to secure your cap, put some extra effort to that, but otherwise this is very good. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a four out of five. It's a recommended buy, definitely. Cheers, guys.